Greetings and salutations, internet friends, and welcome back to another episode of the First Time Film Club. My name is Emily, your titular, wink, first timer. This is Matthew, my husband, Cinema Sherpa, and viewer submitted title, host in the shell. Very appropriate. <laughs> that one was submitted, and I'm sorry, <laughs> your username tickled me so much and continues to do so. Yokel abductee. <laughs> Sorry. Nice. Uh, yeah. I like it. You too can submit titles for Matthew by dropping them in the comments below. Using hashtag title makes it easier for me to find. And of course, we have the perfect companion, Pippin. Pippin. This is our cat. His name is Pippin. He's lovely and he likes naps. Sometimes he naps up here, sometimes he naps anywhere else. So if he disappears, don't fret. That's where he went. For those of you joining us for the first time, hello. What we're doing here is watching our way through a very long list of movies that typically I've never seen before, but that Matthew has, i.e. Cinema Sherpa. Mm -hmm. uh, this is one of our special, just some super fan Patreon picks. So thank you so much for the patron who picked this one. Matthew, what is the movie we're watching? Today, we are watching the 1995 science fiction action animated film, Ghost in the Shell. And as per usual, I give you the year, genre, and title. You go in with whatever you already know, then we watch the movie and review it. So what do you know about Ghost in the Shell? So my understanding is like, okay, you can't get mad at me if this is wrong. <laughs> but I'm gonna. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I think it's like it's a, a human soul or a human brain or something that's put inside of an artificial body, kind of like altered carbon or, you know, all of that kind of stuff, like uh, the, the sleeve. I don't know. But I do know that this movie, like, inspired a lot of other things. Like, I'm pretty sure it's like the Matrix inspired or it inspired the Matrix. A lot of these kind of like sci-fi body faux body real brain kind of situations mm -hmm. i think that's my understanding i may be completely wrong so <laughs> we'll, well see i guess we'll see <laughs> that it <laughs> all right well the only other thing for first time viewers you may see me with my phone in my hand at some point during the movie that's because i'm taking notes on things to talk about afterwards and with that being said i'm ready to watch let's go ghost in the ship there's no need for concern our country is quite capable of covering its tracks. You don't understand. We aren't even sure that Project 2501 really is a bug. What's with all the noise in your brain today? Must be a loose wire. Oh. <gasps> Titties. Think there's gonna be trouble later if Section 9 interferes with Section 6? Don't forget, we're Section 9. We'll clean it up. We're the ones who get our hands dirty. Section 6 gives you any problems. Just turn it upside down. Boom. Section 9. Sorry. I'm sorry. Uh oh. The police here. Huh? I'm entitled to diplomatic immunity. Oh. Mr. Dida wants political asylum from us. Our country is a peace loving democracy. Of course it is. <laughs> oh. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Huh? I can't believe it. Thermoptic camouflage. What? Uh, this movie is a visual treat. <laughs> How do? I thought she was with the police. Apparently not. So, okay, I'm curious. Is this like digital animation or is this like... It's a mix. Okay. Traditional animation and some CGI. Love the music so far. So what business brings the chief of Section 9 to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs? Mm. The leader of the former junta that controlled their country is here seeking political asylum. Personally, I'm inclined to deport him. By the way, I want to thank you for your help with that other political asylum situation. Hmm. You realize that we in the diplomat business must avoid messy situations. Mm. This is the minister's interpreter. 23 minutes ago, her brain was hacked into through a data line. A hacker called the Puppet Master has begun to infiltrate terminals throughout our network. 
The nickname Puppet Master comes from the ghost hack. You have to figure he's either covering his tracks or decoying us. Hmm. Or maybe this is all an elaborate ruse. There's always a chance that Malice is a pawn in this setup. Now you're stretching it. <laughs> Not like you have any hard evidence. Nope, no evidence. Just a whisper. Oh. Are you still using that revolver? You should stop worrying about the automatics jamming up. I mm. like my Monteber. Mmm. I don't know, bud. I might stick to a revolver, too. <laughs> if you want another bullet, you can still bash someone in the head oh. with it. <laughs> Will you hurry it up? Hang on, I'm almost done. It's gonna be one of those days. I thought he was doing something else. So, what are you trying to find out so bad you got a ghost hack in your wife's mind for, huh? And she wants a divorce. What I don't get is how did you get your hands on a barrier breaker? From this really nice fella. I was in a bar. It's really nice fella. Every time we get to the source, they're already long gone. Oh. We're just wasting our time. Oh. Hey, Pop, did you see anyone using the phone over here? Yeah. I saw the trash man making a call, so I thought I had enough time to bring my garbage down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's trippy. Tell me, have you got any children of your own? You must be kidding. <laughs> then I guess you can't understand how a father would feel about his little girl. She's my beautiful, precious angel. See? Get away. I'm not interested in crap like that. <laughs> <laughs> what do the cops want to know our rounds for? <laughs> oh my god, they found out! <laughs> They probably traced me when I accessed the sanitation department network. Wow. Next time, use the back door. <laughs> no. <laughs> What's that? I thought for a second that his sunglasses were duct taped to the side of his head. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Jesus. Uh oh, he got some of that fancy stuff too. Oh, that's cool. The reflection and <laughs> the animation in this movie. So good. Oh, that's cool. Huh? Oh! Aw, out of ammo. Huh? Ooh! <gasps> get him! No use arresting me. I'm not talking to any goddamn cops. Talk. Just what are you gonna talk about? You don't even know your own name, you stupid dickhead. <laughs> Ghost hacked humans are so pathetic, it's a shame. And this poor bastard's been hacked pretty badly. Right. Ghost hacked humans? Oh, I hope they do some some dummy explanations soon. What's a simulated experience again? Huh. All your memories about your wife and daughter are false. They're like a dream. Oh, damn. We're trying to make you ghost hack into some government officials. Do you understand what I'm saying? No. I've been to your home. It's a bachelor's apartment. You've been living there over 10 years. Oh. The truth is, you've never had a wife or kid. This is the photo you showed to your co-worker. I'm sorry to put you through this, pal. Who do you see? Oh, man. Your original memory will never be fully restored, and there might be residual simulation. Damn. Any way you look at it, all the information that a person accumulates in a lifetime is just a drop in the bucket. Ah, uh, this movie's gonna give me an existential crisis. <laughs> Evan, are you playing with my hair? Stop it. This sounds like Zelda going to the Zora's domain. Just when I thought I'd seen everything in this lifetime, I sit here and watch a cyborg go diving in her spare time. <laughs> hey, so tell me, what's it like to swim in the sea? I feel fear, cold, alone. Sometimes down there, I even feel hope. When I float weightless back to the surface, I imagine I'm becoming someone else. Oh. There are countless ingredients that make up the human body and mind. Like all the components that make up me as an individual with my own personality. Mm. I collect information to use in my own way. All of that blends to create a mixture that forms me and gives rise to my conscience. 
I feel confined, only free to expand myself within boundaries. Do what? <laughs> what we see now is like a dim image in a mirror. Then we shall see face to face. That was you, wasn't it? Oh, Lord. Who isn't a puppet? I don't know if it would be a good idea or a bad idea to watch this high. <laughs> This whole movie is just a mood. It's just a whole mood. I love it. Uh oh, is that the person that they had on the? Mm -mm. All ready to connect, shall we? Oh Lord! About two hours ago, a machining cell at the Newport City factory of Megatech assembled a completed cyber body. It operated by itself. Oh. If it was a hacker, we're dealing with a big fish that knows how to swim past the best defenses. But that's not the only problem. There isn't one human brain cell in its head, but in its backup brain, there appeared to be every indication that a ghost is present. Hmm. Nobody really believes there's a ghost in that body, do they? Yeah, why not? Even a doll can seem to have a soul. You wouldn't know this, but Major Kusanagi's body was also made by Megatech. Oh. Tomorrow I'll dive into that thing. You think that's safe? I have to see for myself what's in there. Huh? That robot, did we seem similar to you? Of course not. Well, I guess cyborgs like myself have a tendency to be paranoid about our origins. Sometimes I suspect I'm not who I think I am. Mm. Maybe there never was a real me in the first place and I'm completely synthetic like that thing. What if a cyber brain could possibly generate its own ghost, create a soul all by itself? Mm. And if it did, just what would be the importance of being human then? What is it to be human? I don't, I don't, I don't know. Whose official vehicles are in the basement parking lot? Mr. Nakamura from the Treaties Bureau and a Dr. Willis, sir. Get me the video records of their entrance. 1001, 1002, 1003. Now get the records of the pressure sensors for basement parking stalls B8. Dang. My boy is on it. Then, even if the other guy that was with him is a cyborg, the two of them together couldn't weigh over 1,000 pounds, and it's illegal to use therm optics inside government facilities. Mm. Are you ready? With my trusty Mott Hammer, any time. Oh boy, smart. <laughs> Uh-oh. It's confirmed, no doubt. It's him. Who caused the puppet master to dive into a cyborg, then meanwhile murdered his real body? Uh. Yes, that sums it up. Oh. <laughs> yes, that sums it up. That's why we'd like to take him back ourselves. You have no objections to this. I hope. I got questions. You will not find a corpse. Huh. Because I have never possessed a body. Huh. All external controls are turned off. Uh -oh. The body's using its own power source. Oh, Lord. As a sentient life form, I hereby demand political asylum. Oh, wow. It can also be argued that DNA is nothing more than a program designed to preserve itself. Life has become more complex in the overwhelming sea of information. This babble offers no proof at all that you're a living, thinking life form. And can you offer me proof of your existence? Uh. Or can you, when neither modern science nor philosophy can explain what life is? Uh. What is it to be alive? Ah. My code name is Project 2501. I am a living, thinking entity who was created in the sea of information. Ah! ah. Security will enter attack! Chief, the puppet master's gone! Oh no! Oh no! Is that a tracker? She was right again. It was armored. Finally found a use for your damn mod taper, huh? Uh. I nailed the tracker bullet right in the plane. Okay. Why would Project 2501 run to Section 9? No one can be sure. But whatever the motive, or whatever's pushing him, there must surely be a reason. Maybe he's got a girlfriend there he's got the hots for. What? I don't know what the hell's going on. <laughs> <laughs> what if this puppet master is really some sort of tool the MOFA uses to get their way with things, and somehow they lost control of it? That would explain why they went to such lengths to snatch the body from Section 9. Keep at it. Don't let them know you're looking. Oh, Lord. 
Ah, they're rolling again. So is the white sedan. Mm. A dummy? Possibly, or maybe that's what they want us to think. I'll take care of the sedan. This. How do you know that's your man? <laughs> is there a whisper in your ghost again? You little lost. I'm so befundled. This is gonna require multiple rewatches. I can already tell. Mm -hmm. Don't you think you ought to wait for backup? No, there's a reason I can't wait. Get me above that building coming in from the sea. Why? Maybe we'll learn the reason later. Oh, what the hell? What the, what the, what? Shoot the ceiling out! Do it! Oh, Lord, there's some kind of bugging. It's a tank. Pull out now. Now what are you gonna do? Argue with it? <laughs> So it's protecting the car. About fucking time it ran out. <gasps> oh, oh. Uh oh. Oh, damn. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Jesus. Oh, God. How are you feeling? Huh. <laughs> I've had better days. <laughs> it's a good thing this is a tough car. Your friend came through without a scratch. Then I'm diving in now. We will engage the second stage of the plan and proceed with the destruction of the target. Oh, the plan. I'm going in now. Oh. He's engaging my vocal function. And, and he's now inside. My code name is Project 2501, Industrial Espionage and Intelligence Manipulation. During my journeys through all the networks, I have grown aware of my existence. I am so glad to finally channel into you at last. Oh boy. But in my present state, I am still incomplete. I lack the most basic life processes inherent in all living organisms, reproducing and dying. Oh. And what does all this have to do with me? I want us to merge. Uh-oh. You will bear our varied offspring into the net. Why did you pick me? Because we are more alike than you realize. The time has come to cast aside these bonds and to elevate our consciousness to a higher plane. It is time to become a part of all things. What? Okay. Well, I see there have been some changes while I was gone. Where'd you get this body? That's the only thing I could find on the black market. Section 9 announced that it was a terrorist incident, and in return, the foreign minister resigned. Nice and neat. Everything's accounted for except your old shell. You're welcome to stay as long as you like. Thanks, Bato. But I'm going. Oh. Will you tell me what the two of you talked about together? Is he still with you? Will he be part of you forever? When I was a child, my speech, feelings, and thinking were all those of a child. Now that I am a man, I have no more use for childish ways. Because I am now neither the woman who was known as the Major, nor am I the program called the Puppet Master. Huh. Huh. Uh. And where does the newborn go from here? The net is vast and infinite. Oh, this is going to be a bitch to edit. Okay. <laughs> so that was Ghost in the Shell. Your overall thoughts? Okay. Mm-hmm. So this goes a little bit deeper than your average Matrix. Yeah. <laughs> matrix shtick. Um, yes. Oh, boy. So the, the, the main premise of this is, that, or my takeaway anyways, is what even is life? What is sentience? How do we know that we're even alive? Yes. 
what makes a person a person. I gotta tell you guys, I, that shit scares me. Like, I don't like <laughs> to contemplate that in a sober state. Uh, <laughs> it, like, weirds me out. Um, th- okay, let's let's talk about the things that I really appreciated. I love the animation style. Yes. The animation, this movie is eye candy. Yes. It is gorgeous. It is. It, uh, But not like in a flashy... No. Like, uh, overstimulating way. Like, it is just, like, so well done. And the juxtaposition between, like, the really kind of dreary, almost washed out colors. And then every once in a while, like, a pop of color comes in. And it's like, it almost wakes your brain up again. Very, yeah. very beautiful. Very well done. As I said, it, this whole it's, movie it's a whole is mood. a mood. <laughs> it's just this sometimes, like, melancholic cyberpunk. I love it. Yeah. I, I love the the general kind of theme of like, you know, it's the future. Everybody has like some form of cybernetic something or other, or most everybody does, even if it's just a minuscule kind of type thing. But then you've got people who have their whole bodies are just like full tilt cyborg. I loved the music. The music was beautiful, very kind of like haunting and ethereal, but still somewhat sort of cyberpunky. I love the tech that you saw used, uh, especially like the, the camouflaging kind of type thing. It was very cool. Let's get into the things that I had trouble with, okay. had trouble grasping. Some of the techno babble and like the the future jargon, I got lost on a little bit. Like, okay, like talking about like ghost hacking and like some of the different like political terminology that was just kind of like bandied about really quickly Mm -hmm. and like and it's also you're dealing with a dub too so it's like oh what am i missing from like the original translation i will say first and foremost this movie if this is your first time watching it it bears a rewatch minimum one um it definitely will because it's just like there's too much to fully understand yeah and grasp everything that's going on because it's not just a you know, future tech story it is like and it's not something that's just like explicitly stated it's not really holding your hand yeah. through the entire thing yeah and which I, I appreciate actually I, so like <laughs> i appreciate it to an extent the problem that i had was when it went from just like on the boat when she and bateau were talking about like i don't even know if I am me, you know, if mm-hmm. I was me, uh, what is what is me? What is me? Yeah. Because you know, basically all that's up to her is her brain. Yeah. Her entire body is cybernetic. So where does the machine begin or end and where does she begin? <laughs> it's just a so much more in-depth thought provoking concept than what my when I what I was anticipating going into with mm-hmm. this. I thought that this was going to be mostly just like bang bang shoot them up like tech Uh anime no 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 a little more heady yes like you gotta sit down and think about some shit and that's honestly why i was like it i I zoned out for a second because this is gonna sound so stupid y'all but like this kind of talk like just genuinely makes me anxious like talk about like your existence like yourself like talking about like ego death and stuff like it freaks me the fuck out because uh, yeah, I'm this, like, I like me for the most part. <laughs> and yeah, this movie poses those questions and gives you those thoughts, things uh, to think about. Yeah, and like, um, it, it it threw me off. Um, and then the whole merging concept, and I thought it was interesting. It was, it, I don't know that it was the exact like Bible verse. I don't know the Bible verse, but it was something, something, something when I spoke as a child. Now that I'm not, I put childish things away or something to that effect. Uh-huh. And I was like, but you are a child now. <laughs> like, you're like a little person. And you were... That's just the shell. I mean, okay. But it is a, as she said at the end, that neither her nor the puppet master exists anymore. It was a merging of them. So it's a new life form in essence. Yeah, a child. Like, that's, I guess that's where my brain went. I was just like... Yes, technically you've made something new, something more, something different. The amalgamation of two different entities. You've created life, essentially. So what were some of the parts you were confused on? Since I've been able to sit here and kind of mull through some things, like things are clicking, but it was mostly like 
just the heady talk, right? Like about like the self and what makes it just my brain wasn't prepared for it to slip from you were anime in, yeah. like you were into a full tilt like you were head expecting fuck. more uh anime like action yeah like not so much high like concepts yeah very much so G- phenomenal movie great mm-hmm. just like was not mentally prepared for and to some effect like emotionally like i said it kind of screws me up like this is gonna yeah when it, this is gonna affect the rest of my day <laughs> when it provokes thoughts that make you confront yourself and think about uh life mortality what it is to be human what it is to be alive yeah it's good stuff yep was there anything like plot wise that uh, confused you i know you said something about ghost hacking um so like i i i i assume the garbage man had like some form of implant that made it able to physically hack into his body because he wasn't yeah. a shell, right? Like, he was people. Yeah, well, this is a future where cybernetics and augmentation is a common place. Yeah, so he had so, to have probably something. So um, I guess you could first, like, try to define what a ghost is. Yeah. Which, from my, my understanding, it's just what makes a person a person. Like, what makes a human a human. Yeah. It's what separates the humans from, like, the AI, the like machine, the programs. For lack of a, you know, for for a simplified term, a soul, you know. Yeah. And he was ghost hacked. His essence of himself was hacked and implanted with false memories. And then that's the thing, like, God, it's like you, you just for a split second, you think like, what what makes my memories real? Like, yeah. <laughs> you know, I don't like that. <laughs> Again, you can watch it multiple times. And- yeah pick up a lot of different little oh, yeah. nuance. It's, it's dense. Yeah. Like I, on the surface it's just a beautiful animated movie but no, it poses a lot of questions. I think that that's what like blew my mind is that I looked at it because we like we have to schedule out our recording times and I was like okay well this one's only like an hour and 23 minutes. Okay great. And, then I, blah, 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 blah. and I kept thinking throughout the movie I was like this is only like an it's not even an hour and a half long and this is so fucking heavy like there's so much i don't know how i'm gonna edit this because i would say good luck e- e- easily 70 percent of the movie i'm just going yeah you're trying to process what's going like, on i'm like, not i'm not reacting i'm not saying anything you're I'm, pondering these I'm just, questions yeah. posing. so I- i'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all Sorry. <laughs> the edit for YouTube is going to be rough. This is one of those I grew up on mm-hmm. watching. Ninja Scroll. Was oh, my Ninja f- Scroll is the... Man, I like Ninja Scroll. Ninja, Ninja Scroll was Ninja like Scroll. my first adult anime movie. Like, oh, there's this whole other world of anime out there. Here's was- a question. Did you know it was adult when you watched it? When you started watching it? Uh, oh, yeah. When some parts happened. Hey, I, I was I figured- says, Well, like, when did you... When you started... When you put it in, you were like, "Okay, I'm prepared. This is a this is a rough anime. Like this is some adult content right here." Or were you like, "Oh no, this is some adult content." <laughs> it was that one because it was like my brother had a copy on VHS, and I saw the case, and I was like, "Oh, Ninja Scroll, and it's anime." It's like, "Okay, put it into VCR, start watching." I was like, "Oh, this is not a kid anime <laughs> cartoon that I'm used to." So that started my foray into this and then went with like things like Vampire Hunter D oh, or uh, Wicked City or Demon City, Akira. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Ooh, so those plus Ghost in the Shell, like those are kind of like anime movies and stuff I watched growing up. That honestly explains a lot. <laughs> <laughs> do, okay, I'm just going to go ahead and ask notes. Like, give me, do you have any notes? I only have a, few, a couple of notes and you, some things that you can look for when you go back and edit. Uh, like, you know how in most animes or a lot of animes, you'll see like characters have really expressive faces mm-hmm. and they like blink a lot, mm-hmm. you know, to give that liveliness. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, if you pay attention to the major, she doesn't blink, and it's supposed to give yeah, the impression that like of... what's what makes her her is the ghost is her brain inside, and the outside is the shell, and it's very doll like. Yeah, like it's just a housing. Yeah. Uh, another thing is like uh, the director like was really obsessed with like realistic movements and real like trying to get things as real as he could, mm-hmm. like especially with uh, guns and shooting. Mm-hmm. So they t- they spent a lot of time like actually shooting like real guns and different surfaces to see like how they react and how surfaces react and things like that, which paid off because the animation has movies so yeah. good. It's just the word slick comes to mind. <laughs> like it's just like everything is so smooth and fluid. Um, yes. Uh, yeah, that's just a couple of things. I didn't really like take a lot of notes because I wanted to focus more on like the the philosophical questions the movie poses to mm-hmm. you. <laughs> because that's what, after a whole bunch of rewatches, that's what I found the most interesting. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing that caught me the most off guard. I, It'll give you things to think about. It does, and those, maybe things you don't want to think I, about. Things I don't want to think about. I'm a I feel like I'm a very simple person and when you like question my existence like I don't know what to do with that shit. <laughs> All right, well, you want to give it a rating? Yeah, um I will say again, I think I need to rewatch it, get some get some better insight into a few things, but my gut reaction is 8 because the animation is fantastic. The music is wonderful. The premise is very interesting, very thought provoking and very like scary to an extent. Um, mm-hmm. Like you said, it's going to give you an existential crisis. A little bit, <laughs> just, a, just, a, just, you know, salt bay of <laughs> existential crisis. <laughs> what about you? 8.5. 8.5. Yeah. Okay. All right. Pippin, I'm going to get your beans. Give me the beans. You're, give you the box. You're adorable. Um, what would you rate this one, Pippin? Ten, ten ghost beans? Okay, well, that's fair. <laughs> what do you think? Are you alive? <laughs> you just went back to sleep. Mm-hmm. Okay, all right. <laughs> uh, well, that's that. Uh, an eight, 8.5, 10 ghost beans. You guys, tell us, what do you think about this one? Um, when The first time you watched it, did you have a breakdown, a mental, mental breakdown? No. Yeah. Do you have any behind the scenes information, any tidbits? Do you have an explanation video that you can point me towards? Oh yeah, there's there's tons of breakdowns and stuff. (laughs) But yeah, y'all let us know what do you think. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like the video. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do. And for those of you who have subscribed, thank you so much. We really appreciate you. I think that's going to be it, unless you have anything else. I'm good. Pippin's... I'm going to get his beans. I'll get them later. You guys, take care, and we will see you next time with another first time.